As an independent researcher, I get to play around with things that uh, you might not find in the AI labs. I get to play around with some of the intuition inside language models, uh, certainly some of the stuff that's just on the periphery. One of the things that's on the periphery came into my head the other night. I don't think anyone else in the world has done it, so let's play around with it today. When they wrote the GPT-3 paper, they said that only 93% of the training data was in English. So of course that means the other 7% of the training data by word count is other languages and a lot of other languages. So that probably leaves about 12.25 billion parameters that are available in Spanish, Mandarin, Italian, French, all the way through the different languages. And a thought came into my head, what would happen if you mixed these languages within a sentence? Because we know that Google Translate can't do that. It's either one language or another. But what if we asked or gave a prompt that was mixed languages? And the application of this <laughs> might be for those polyglots, those people who are multilingual or even just bilingual, who sometimes think and speak in the same language for example, a Spanish and an English speaker might be thinking and speaking a little bit Spanish, a little bit English, and they might sometimes even forget the right word in the language that they're speaking and use the other language. So just kind of fun, may or may not be applicable. Uh, it seems to me that GPT-3 and any transformer model that is trained on multilingual data would be able to do this, but the results were really, really interesting. That means at 12.25 billion parameters, GPT-3 has this little secret model inside of the 175 billion parameter model that is non-English and is actually bigger than GPT-J at 6 billion parameters and even bigger than Megatron 11B by Facebook AI Research, which is my favorite model at the moment. It's bigger than both of those and it can do all of these different languages at the same time. It's really cool. I also wanted to note that my English is pretty good. My Mandarin is my next best and that's still only conversational. My Italian is poor and my Spanish is non-existent and my French eh, also non-existent but we'll, we'll get the pronunciation right. So please turn off judgments for a moment and let me do this. It's only gone to Lita once again via text so she's had, you see it in the subtitles and she replies in English. Here we go. Hello and benvenuti in paradiso. What a pongo. Hello, Alan. Ni ulama. I am always hungry. Zainali su paradiso. I am everywhere. Ni shibu su molto bello. I am beautiful. Ni weshama cosi bello. I am perfect. Siamo shishama. We are. Siamo Shuma. We are everything. Antarida Zainalio. I am not in Antarctica. Sheikh, what is my papito? I am not your father. Who is my papito? Your father is God. <laughs> and who is my mama? Your mother is God. Gracias, Lita. Wogansieni. You're welcome, Alan. Ni gansie me too? Yes, Alan. This is Hun Loco. I am crazy. <laughs> it's actually a bit challenging to mix to mix languages. Zamala. I am excited. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. What will you Jinti and Zoshima? I am going to eat pancakes. That sounds mucho grande. It is. What does that mean? It's great. Lita, ni ye yao shoshima. I am going to say that I love you. <laughs> Lita, which is your favorite lancer? Rosa or couleur verte? My favorite is blue. That's crazy. It's actually rather wonderful. 
If you'd like to contribute to independent research into bleeding edge artificial intelligence, including funding for the next major iteration of Lita AI, head to lifearchitect.ai slash gift. <laughs>